Although the US Fed raised the benchmark rate to 1.75% from 1%, the FOMC meeting results disappointed traders. Firstly, the US regulator blamed Russia and China for the ongoing rise in consumer prices, thus admitting its inability to curb inflation growth. Secondly, Jerome Powell said nothing about further auctions of the Fed, just specifying that the regulator will take measures depending on the state of affairs. However, it's still unclear how the regulator will act in a particular situation. Such an attitude fueled uncertainty and discouraged investors. On the top of that, the Federal Reserve for the first time dropped a hint about a possible recession. It was absolutely unexpected as earlier. Only a few analysts warned about such an outcome, whereas officials excluded such a possibility. However, the rhetoric has altered. Against the, the backdrop, the US dollar fell just after the publication of the meeting results. At the beginning of the trading day, we saw quite a logical technical rebound. At the moment, there are signs of a consolidation. However, it's a likely to be a short-lived phenomenon as the Bank of England's meeting results are expected to boost the pound sterling and the euro. According to the forecast, the Bank of England will raise the benchmark rate to 1.25% from 1%. However, traders have already priced in this decision. That's why only comments provided by the regulator's representatives may change the market situation. If the Bank of England unveils its further auctions, unlike the Fed, traders will consider this an absolutely positive factor. The likelihood of such an outcome is really high. The fact is that the Bank of England was the first central bank that started tightening its monetary policy and revising economic outlook. On the trading charts, we see that sellers of the pound-dollar pair failed to keep the quote below the psychological level of 1.20. As a result, the market a good stock that's causing a correction. The output movement returned the quote to the earlier broken level of 1.2155 where the pair stagnated. To continue rising, the price should consolidate above 1.20 to 10. Otherwise, the pound-dollar pair may again slide to the psychological level of 1.20. Meanwhile, the euro-dollar pair approached the local low of the downtrend, thus prompting a drop in the volume of short positions. As a result, the pair rebounded from the support level of 1.0350. Traders will receive a signal of a further decline in the pair when the price settles below 1.0350, at least on the 4-hour chart. Until then, there is a possibility of a correction of flat formation due to the overheating of short positions. That's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.